Hey guys, here, welcome back to Ruby GPDE. When I left off, we ended up nearly getting pulled apart by Weiss and Yang because they both have a huge crush on our character. And of course, we've also been entered into a tournament with Evelyn as our partner. With that said, let's begin. Alright, as always, we're going to skip through this... The repeated text. Sorry guys, if you hear a little bit of a blowing noise in the background, that's my fan. It's ungodly hot here in the UK right now. Okay, let's see what we do in class. Okay, or a knowledge cruise by five. So, let's go over the plan again. With the expedition matches, we have an excuse to invite your little red red-headed stalker to the beacon. Redhead? What? What is? I thought she was brunette. Hmm. That way, even if she goes, that way, even if she goes aggressive, we have the supporters. We have the supporters restrain her. The teachers will be forced to intervene if something happens on campus. And that's left to invite her and hope she takes the bait. And the last part is probably the most difficult. First of all, first of all, while the police may not have gotten a description of Jack or the school. She was still involved in an accident. I, d I doubt we will just see her wandering around. And second, she is actually involved with Howard and Weiser. We're banking a lot on her being as much trouble as for the uh, as much being much trouble for them as she is for other people and her desire to be around me. Oh, what the hell? Okay, this is pretty interesting. I don't remember having this ringtone. And the number is not saved in my contacts. Hello? Hello, big brother! Oh god, that is so creepy that I've actually just done this. You got to be shitting me! Bella? Bella? She she got your scroll number! When did when did this ha that happen? Yes, yes, and I don't know. I bet better put her on speaker. I mentioned to the girls to follow me towards the class entrance. Big brother, is everything okay? Everything alright? Yes, yes, it's just... How'd you get my scroll number? Hmm, Howard took it off one of your teammate's scrolls when he searched your room. So that's what happened to my... So that's what happened to my phone that time. I see. Alright, Kenji, time to play cool. I hope I'm... I hope I didn't disturb you. I tried to call you after classes. No, no, we just finished with the last class. It's all right. That's good. I didn't want to disturb Big Brother while he studies. Surprisingly thoughtful for a nutcase. Evelyn, shush. Um, Big Brother, I was wondering if you wanted to meet up this weekend. There it is. Now here's hope this works. Well, actually, this weekend's a bit busy. I'm going to be taking part in an exhibition match for the preview of the Vital Festival, and... Oh my goodness! Can I come and cheer for you, big brother? Oh, come on! It can't be that this easy! Put a nail in the coffin for now, partner. I'd really like if you did, Bella. <gasps> really? Oh, God. Really. Big brother, I love you. I'll be in Beacon as soon as possible on Sunday. On Sunday morning. This is going to be painful. I can just feel it. I kind of feel bad and unsafe at the same time. Just, um, can I bring a friend, big brother? I kind of can't leave the house without her at the moment. I know it can't be smooth saying they don't trust her. Sure, if she's pretty as you. <gasps> Did she just choke on something? Smooth, Kenshi. Ow. Evelyn. Ow. Evelyn, don't punch me. I... Isn't the one doing the pinching, bo boyfriend? Wait, what? Penny, really? Wow, Penny. Just wow. Did you really have to pinch me? I swear to God. You've got... You've got fingers like a... Like a I'm trying to think. Like a Jaws of Life or something. Big brother, you think I'm pretty? From an objective, completely uninterested and platonic point of view? Yes. I am not squealing, guys. I am not squealing. I am not a squealer. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Well, that was interesting. 
Sounds like we got ourselves a date then. Yeah, though I wonder about this other girl she's coming with. Even Spider Boy went for an, an image change. Maybe Spider Boy went for an image change. Somehow I doubt it. Anyway, all we can do now is, is roll with the punches. Quite literally so. Do you, do you remember what, what we're fighting, Kenshi? Could, couldn't have forgot if I tried, Penny. We're fighting Coco and and Velvet. Neither of them use punch. Neither of them use comp punching. Well, maybe Velvet if she uses her semblance. But Coco, she uses a Gatling gun. I mean, for God's sake, a mini gun. Ugh. The way she smiles every time someone, as much as a munch. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The way she smiles every time someone, as much as mentions it, won't let me. Yeah, she's got a sweet smile. It's adorable. Alright, let's go train with... Let's go train with Yang. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's go... Can I do anything here? Nope. Nope. Amphitheater? No. Alright, let's go to the gym and do more training. Let's see. What to do this time, huh? Let's take a look. Oh, God. Text from Neo. Uh, let's increase my strength, but first... Okay. Uh, Mao, you, you were next to High and Mighty with a stiletto in your skull. Fwaha! Distance, my good friend, you grant me such satisfactions. You wouldn't like that. You... You would like that, wouldn't you, Miss ne Neapolitan? Getting your grubby hands and heels on me. Well, I guess she's talking about her heels. What she, what she says, Stelito. Haven't seen her carrying any any kind of blade. Anyway, what should I do? tell her now? Yeah, you know what? Nah, 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 nah. Couldn't resist lording it over her. My toes be damned. Payback. Bet I wouldn't... Bet I wouldn't... But, but, bet I wouldn't, but I'm over here and she, and you're over there. Tough luck, and send. Ah, I guess I'll try a normal conversation with the next text. No one deserves a wallow in boredom. Yeah. Okay, let's go for more strength training. Okay. Okay. Time for the next day. Do, 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 do. I love that. I love that chime. All right. Huh? Oh. Really? It's the weekend already? Where did all the time go? Uh, no. Let's see. Huh. Well, might as well go and uh, tell Velvet I collected enough photo pictures. Hi, Kenshi. How have you been? Good, thanks. Listen, I've taken a, f a few interesting pictures that I'd like to show you. Oh, that's that's very good. Shall we meet in the classroom in, say, 30 minutes? Sounds good to me. Meet you there. She's such a, she's such a sweet girl, Velvet. Too bad she's underused. You're, you're pretty punctual, Kenshi. And you're early. <laughs> I don't like making people wait. So, what did you... So, what did you take pictures of? Well, the most recent one is... I don't really know. You don't know? I, w I was taking a look around the amphitheatre at night when... There was somebody watching me from the hallways to lead to the balconies. Did, did you take a picture of this mysterious stalker? I didn't think I'd ever heard someone say stalker in such an excited way. Amnesia be damned. It wasn't... It wasn't... I was too far away, and after a few seconds, it ran. But I did take a picture of, though, was the aftermath. Show me! Is... Is that a scorch mark? Yep. Left in the spot where the person was standing. Oh, God, look at what the heat did to the marble f veins. The heat needed for someone like this has to be tremendous. I know, right? How would you ever seen something like this? 
The first, first thing comes to mind is lightning bolts, an explosion. But I bet you wouldn't hear anything of that sort, do you? No? So maybe it was some kind of semblance? Probably. Oh, I can't wait to try and take a picture of the stalker. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a stalker stalker. Because that would mean that I'm the stalky. You technically are all being stalked though. You're being stalked by Bella. Remember. What, kind of, what else do you take pictures of? A poster and someone drinking in a bar. An eccentric choice. Show me. That's such erotic eccentric clothes. They're very showy, but the, but at this point it isn't, isn't it? The mates, the made to catch attention. Yeah, I can see that. You got the shadow of the two men staring at the posters too. That's actually a pretty nice detail. You got, you got a camera. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. It's a poster for a club, isn't it? Yep. I guess those girls are the front. Interesting. Enough of that role, being the face of an establishment. Huh? What's up with her all of a sudden? And also this man. Like you know, put him in the center of the picture. His cape makes him stand out. And you can see how the other patrons are actually physically drawn to listen to him. He was talking about a pretty interesting story from what I heard. Also, he, he, kind of, he was kind of drunk. I see. She lets out a, a long sigh, slowly stands from her seat. Um, I guess the pictures I took didn't... Didn't give you ideas. I'm sorry. No, no, that... They did, it's just... She walks up to the room... The room's window, st staring out with the slight deflated ears. Uh, that's that's such a sad picture, but I love the, I love it. It's it's a good it's it's actually beautiful. I love the look. I I promised to tell you about my problem, didn't I? You did. You didn't have to if you didn't want to. It's fine. Just had to find the right words. Don't worry, Velvet. I'm sure they'll come to you. What do you think of photography, Kenshi? Huh? Well, it's a cool hobby. After trying it. Trying it, I find it interesting, but I definitely don't have the same eye for it. If I, if I can even call it an eye. Thanks. I enjoy photography, even like if I'm starting, to, even if I started doing it for well to help my semblance. But it's not something I, I mean, I choose to do. But oh, I know how to say this without sounding selfish. Are you a selfish person, Velvet? I don't think I am, but I feel like I want to be selfish just once. That would mean throwing my team through a loop. I don't understand. Me and my team are maybe the best team among the second years. Our balance, our synergy is, dare I say, perfect. We work close for two years now, but perfecting working with each other's strengths and weaknesses, from weapons to semblance to aura to semblances. But like, lately, I've been fe feeling like I want more. I want to progress my semblance past what I use it for now. And do you know how I choose to... And do you know how I chose my battle clothes? No, not really. Me and my te team went over a list of choice for clothes that were best suited for my fighting style and, cl and colours and easy to render. Huh? What do you mean, render? For the outfitter. Ah, okay, that makes sense. So, my problem is that I would like to change things about myself, but if I was, will upset my team's balance, I don't know if I could ever change to begin with. I can understand where she's coming from. I've... Well, what the... AI... What the heck is that supposed to be? I've done... I've done... I've done so far since arriving at Beacon has been bet, betting... Bettering myself as a person, trying to repay those who helped me and still help me. She's fought between two. She she fought between the two. She wants to better herself, but feels like trying to do so may inconvenience them or make her appear as ignorant. Then again, won't won't she start resenting them if, out of her kindness, she doesn't even try to make the change she wants? What exactly do you want to change about yourself, Velvet? First and foremost, my semblance. It's powerful, but it works but it works right now is some kind of serious limit. C can you even do that? Change your semblance? I don't 
me change a complete, completely different one, but change how I use it. Also, I think I'd like to be a cuter battle outfit than the one I have right now. And the only tailor I know is acquaintance of my partner, Coco. Hmm. A tailor. Hmm. Well, we, ha we have... We have Evelyn. Velvet, I think I may have able to help you with that. Really? You can make clothes? Nope, but I know someone who can. Ah, choo! I hope I'm not, I didn't catch a cold or something. You are now friends with Velvet Scalatina. Yep, we're friends with the with the foot with the sweet little bunny. All right, Sunday, day fifty six. Here we go. The bullhead is landing. All right, it begins. Are you are you nervous, Kenshi? Just a bit. We, we're not exactly master conversationalists, are we? But we're supposed to get some answers out of her. Or else fails, we could always depend on Evelyn. Considering the amount of aura she used, she needs to use, I prefer not to. But we can't, won't be able to furnish her with her own, with her, with her own today. Then we'll just have to be exceptionally successful. Big brother! Hello, Bella. Welcome to Beak. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Beacon. I miss you so much. Have you missed me too? Aw, you, your little sister is so cute, Kenshi. Um, of course I am. Who are you? My name is Penny. I'm going to be Kenshi's partner for the ex exhibition match. Oh. Well, make sure to protect. Make sure he he looks good, and you'll be my one of my bridesmaids. That's my prime directive as of now. Penny, I get that we're supposed to draw her to a false. False security. We're all, it's not encouraged that much. For that much. The first exhibition match is going to start shortly. In the first and second year's area. I repeat. Oh, is that you, big brother? No. The two on the two, on two matches later. The first fight is going to be one-on-one -on -one duel. Oh, I see. That means we can spend more time together. Eh, that, that's the idea. After five minutes, I'm already dreading the rest of the morning. I am already as well, Kenshi. And I'm, and I'm playing it. <sighs> Are you nervous? No, just something on my mind. I was trying to put it aside for a long... For the time being. That's good. I expect nothing but 100% from you. Yeah, about that. Why, don't take this wrong way, but I think you should give up. You're serious. It's not because I think you're weak. I've seen you during training. It's just that this kind of small battlefield couple with my semblance and your fighting style makes this heavily skewered match in my favor. And my semblance doesn't have a power dial. It's pretty much set to incinerate. Well, that's the more reason for me to fight as long as possible. Weiss. I'm not going... I'm not always going to choose my engagements. As a huntress, it's better I take on such circumstances and now where I am in a relatively safe environment that and out in the wild, no? So again, don't hold back. I want to fight against Jacqueline B. Bel Belinda Ivory at her best. Then I will. Sorry, I don't I didn't mean to, to insult you. And um please keep my middle name to yourself. Belinda. That is a weird name, Belinda. I mean, I've heard of Linda because I've no, I've no women with that name, so it's weird. Only if you win. Oh, Jack is a cute blush. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, who managed to get inside, and those who are looking at this through the network, welcome to the first exhibition match. Bringing your live commentary from the first and second years arena is me, Professor Peach, and my statutory co-host, Professor Goodwitch. <clears throat> Hello, <clears throat> Mumble. I can't believe she wrote me into this, Mumble. 
We'll be keeping you entertained as commentary and juicy tidbits about our students as the fighting takes place. Speaking of which, I think our first two contestants are making their entry. Please give it off for Jacqueline B. Ivory and White Schnee. Go Weiss, kick a butt! Hey Ruby, everyone. D-Man, come to watch your loser lose. Yang, that's not very nice. How are you, Kenshi? Penny? And, um, two girls I don't know? They're friends of ours from Vale. Please, please to meet Bella and... Um, Bella, I don't think you introduced your friend. You're right, I didn't. Oh, who cares? Bella! My name is Thea. Nice to meet you all. I just we find a better spot for spectating. Hmm, she's not wrong. Let me take care of this. Hey, make way, contestants team coming through. Hey, you're the best spot for me, big my big brother. Big brother? It's a long story. Let's get to our spots. Um, okay. You're not going? I could say the same thing to you. Bella doesn't really pay attention to when Howard briefs us on your team. You're admitting your association with him. That our associate would come out was given the moment our leader allowed Bella to come here. I'm here to make sure Bella comes back home afterwards. Which is why I'm keeping distance from her. I suspect your other teammates are watching us at this very moment. That's kind of the reason why I'm hanging back here as well. I want to make sure you don't try to abduct obscured with Kenshi. That's beyond my capabilities. This situation, best, best assured, we do not come here to take him from you. Not today. Well, if you do, I will stop you myself so we don't try and enjoy the match. Jack is fighting. I don't enjoy meaningless bloodshed. I, su I should probably keep a closer eye on Bella than you in this situation. Oh? Can't you say something similar? Yet, the origin's hot enough. The, the seats are all filled. Why don't we start off, Professor Goodwitch? If I must. Contestants. Contestants. Tournament rules. You'll fight it until someone is incapacitated or their aura is in the red. And begin. This is it then. The first move is yours. Are you really sure about that, Weiss? We can't have it ending with a match with a knockout in one move, can we? That'll make me a terrible sh- That'd make for a terrible showing. Ah, so be it. Don't say I didn't warn you, though. Ha! Oh, my bunny, she's using a semblance already! Oh, really? Is it that bad? Is it that bad for Weiss? It may be bad for us. I don't know if it, we're far enough from Jack. So, it's an AOE semblance. I didn't think I, I'd ever seen one of these before. Oh, I like that expression. Yes, it is. Still. Oh, crap. Back up, back up. Still, it's been a couple years since I last saw it. She should have gotten better control controlling it. Shall we... Shall... This shall be an interesting match, then. Um, that's all. That's fine and all, but Evelyn? But what kind? Oh, that's kind of my seat. Uh-oh, this is going to tell you how badly I can feel it. That girl is... Is something matter, Bella? Oh, um, nothing, big brother. No, big brother, it's nothing. Nothing at all. I'll be honest, in this, with that pose, she'll, she's, she's about to go and she's about to call upon a Power Ranger mode. You know, like saying, wild access, or, I don't know. My, my memory of Power Rangers pow, power up calls are, are uh, rusty, because I remember, it's morphin' time. Wild access, and, um, I remember. Uh, you know what, forget it, it doesn't matter. Two minutes, Weiss. Impressive aura. And what's about this minute? 
That's how long this match will last. Ooh, bold proclamation, Miss Ivory. Is there any credit to it, Miss Goodwitch? Miss Ivory has always scored the top per percentage of my class. But so does Miss Schnee. To be honest, I've never seen the, fo the former use of semblance. At this point, it's an unknown variable. Well, I I've started the countdown, just in case. Although, hmm. Why is she not moving? You do not want her to move right now, especially close to anything living. The air. Beg your pardon? Pay, pay attention to the air around Jack's position. Are you going to move at all? No, neither should you. <laughs> Cute. Well, considering this is your first move then, my turn. Weiss, no! My... My dress! Uh, uh, ice? Part of Miss Schnee's gown has turned to ice! Did Miss Ivory do something? No, she just she didn't move at all. Miss Schnee's garments turned to ice! Ooh, this is about Jack's semblance! You, you're getting, t getting too much into this. Ruby, you sure she didn't do anything? If she did, she was faster than me. And the naked eye. And my eye is, eyes as well. Not that they're special in any way. This. Her clothes turned to ice just by st stepping close t to Jack. If she tries to get closer, she'll die. Or possibly be permanently maimed. Also, brrr, It's just music of the air getting colder. Getting colder. For the automatic dust chambers, why is this a range fighter? I figured that, that when John screamed at me, thank you very much. Tch, you ain't lying. One minute, Weiss. I'll, I'll make a count, thank you very much. And I'm not going without ranged options. Isn't your weapon a rapier? Miss, Miss Sultana is much more. Yes, with a swing of a weapon, Miss Schnee's launches a, a volley of ice, cr ice crystals. Which has stopped in mid -air, inches from Miss Ivory's face before falling ruinly to the ground. To the ground! But, 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 we, we're already ice! Why did they stop? Because her semblance instantly turned things to ice. Well, now I know why they made you leader. You already got it. <laughs> I think so, but it's just a, I've read something similar in, in a comic. Comic book, school, who cares? You got a brain, you got a fine brain there. But some, someone explain what's going on. Maybe later, two minutes are already up. I don't know. I don't know you could do that. For all the good reason I did. Ice dust is useless, isn't it? Ah, uh, you know, which could have fought somewhere else. This, all, this being way too short. Excuse me? Two minutes, Weiss. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Unbelievable! Oh! That looks painful. Wow. How? What just happened? First she was there. Next next thing we know, Miss Ivory is in Miss Schnee's guard. And her fist is in her gut. Weiss! I... I couldn't even... See her. You're strong, Weiss. But in such a em small, empty space, this couldn't have ended any other way. Oh! And with the first, the first class punch ticket to the nearest wall, Miss Ivory's, Miss Snee's aura is in the red. The match is over. What a day, sports fans! What a revelation! Professor Good, Professor Peach, Miss Snee is passed out. She, she may have a concussion. I know. Isn't that awesome? No, it's not. Not awesome at all. Whew. That was intense. More like awesome. You actually... You you can actually control it now. The size, not the potency, sadly. Jack, your son was absolutely amazing. A master of the laws of physics. You already figured it out? Took me years to do it. Only 35% of it. 
And she wasn't the only one. I think, I think people should really keep an eye on that John guy. Yeah, they should. Hey! No soggy photos of the victory celebration. Partner, what's wrong? I still don't like the idea of being a show, but I just, I just realized something. Watching this fight? It's nothing. Let's go. Did... Did we do something wrong? I think I know what's up. Give me two minutes alone with him. Eh? How can you know what, when I don't? Because you're... You're looking differently... Because you're looking at him differently than me, Carrots. You don't think he's angry at Jack because of how the match ended? Nah. He looks more frustrated than anything. You're not following him around? That girl and Big Brother's partner, isn't she? Howard told you as much. I wasn't listening, so I guess Big Brother would be sad if I made her go boom. I would think so. I really, really want to make her go boom. What about her? Her summons is potentially lethal. But she knows she knows that better than anyone. Cinder. It's not easy making someone like that misstep. We better off with someone whose semblance isn't inherently lethal. <sighs> the right circumstances, right? The right circumstances. Anyway, we should have two more matches to observe today. Let's enjoy ourselves a little more. You ever know what, what surprises may lie in wait? Yes, ma'am. Emerald, we're in public. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. We're not in anyone's earshot, but call me Cinder when we're, when we're not alone. Y yes of course! Wait, I'll get my hands on her. Oop. Well guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Like us all, like, comment, and subscribe. It's Jeff, and I'm out of here. See ya!